Hi, I'm here to introduce Auto Test Assist, a brand new testing capability available in the latest Cloud Pack for integration. API developers need a comprehensive set of capabilities to deliver APIs faster with high quality and a traffic pace. They create APIs to expose data, microservices apps using open standards and test them to validate their behavior. These testing required test cases either automatically generated or manually written, and that can be time consuming. Now, imagine a world where automation assists API developers to validate and test APIs without having to write test cases. Auto Test Assist does this exactly. The Auto Test Assist will analyze your API and will automatically generate hundreds of random requests and reports about any non-conformance or server-side errors. This greatly improves the developer productivity as it does not require any test cases and increases the accuracy by testing the corner cases automatically. This is particularly useful if the API is being developed as testing um, helps in identifying errors um, without having to write test cases. Now, this can also be used for doing regression testing. Now, let's dive in and see how this feature works. I'm an API developer at Atme eCommerce, which sells books, one among many other things that it sells, through our web and mobile app. I have just created an API called Bookshop for our inventory team to keep tab on our stock and figure out our supply logistics. Now, this API has been designed according to the best practices and um, design thought put into it. Now, I'm going to use this API to test with the auto test assist and let's get started. So I've launched the automated testing application by clicking on the test API style. Now here, uh, I've created a test suite called Acme. And in order to start with testing, I'm clicking on test. As you can see, to get started with, I'm choosing the auto test profiles here. And let's click on add. I'm selecting the um, API specification uh, to get started with the testing. So I have the JSON version of my bookshop, which I've already downloaded. So I'm selecting uh, my uh, Bookshop API here. Since this is a new API and I don't have any existing API document, I have chosen the option for adding the new API document. And now I click on Next. So here I'm providing some uh, basic or general information about my auto test uh, profile. I'm going to call this profile as bookshop testing. Uh, you can also add description and tags as needed to give more context to as to what this uh, auto test profile is about. So now what happens when I click next is the auto test scans my API document and it extracts the semantic information that will inform um, its generation of the requests that are going to come, right? Now, what you're seeing here is the API extension, which is derived from the open API spec, uh, where it looks at the resources and their uh, dependencies. 
So for example, if you see the resource order here, it's clearly mentioned that um, it has, or it is dependent on two other resources. The uh, customer resource, as you can see here, and there's also the uh, order resource. And by this, what it means is both these dependencies are required in the sense that an order cannot exist unless there is a customer to place the order and there is at least a single book to buy. Now I get a chance to review the information here and once it's done, I'm clicking on create and the tool uh, creates my profile. Um, it gets saved with the default settings. Now the next step for me to do here is to run this auto test for, uh, profile. Now to be able to do that, I need to um, configure the controls for executing it, right? So here I'm going to be setting the server um, URL uh, which needs to point to my uh, test deployment. So here I'm adding my uh, server model. And as you can see, I get immediate feedback or validation saying, you know, something is wrong with my YAML here. Now here I can set for how long uh, the test uh, should run. So um, you know the time to run, maximum request to send, uh, maximum errors allowed, and then there is the section here where you know we uh, there are controls for how the tests can be executed. There is a resources section for assigning weights to resources and uh, so on and so forth. So this is very flexible as in I can um, change these controls in however whichever way um, I need to test out different use cases and different uh, scenarios. This newly created profile includes a default configuration that I can um, easily run with. I'm going to change the time to run to a minute and then I want to see all possible errors here. The next section, uh, before I lose anything, I'm just going to click on save. Uh, the next is the info section, which is basically the um, general information that we um, that I provided a while back. And I also have the security section here. Uh, this supports um, three types of authentication basic basic url batter and there's also the none option here uh, my bookshop api uses basic url so i'm going to choose um, basic url here and provide the credentials so once i've done that uh, i'm now all set to run This takes me to the reports page where the API calls are generated to test the API. The overview tab has a tabular view of uh, the number of responses for each day's code, how many succeeded and how many uh, failed. So let's take a look at what's there in the API calls. 
So this tab has more detailed view on every API call made in this run. Um, it has a robust search bar, which can be uh, which lets you search based on method, path, and the response code. Um, here um, I can exactly um, or precisely see how a specific API endpoint has been called and the response and the request are received. So it looks like my email ID provided it's not valid, name is not a valid input. Um, so which was the reason why this call has failed. Uh, this testing feature complements our existing suite of uh, testing capabilities by you know, being a great starting point to identify errors early in the development phase. Now the auto test generation used for generating test cases is a great next step. Uh, because it tests for guaranteed repeatable scenarios and adds even greater value uh, with its uh, integration uh, to the DevOps pipeline. Now, these tests can be used to promote APIs to different environments. Now, as things mature and uh, APIs move to production, the AI insights or the Watson insights can be used to detect gaps in the test coverage by comparing the production trace patterns with the existing test cases. Now, these different testing capabilities can accelerate teams' ability to build robust quality measurements, leading to faster development cycles, and overall, great trust in, the, in your API program. Thank you.